Peak Country Park was awarded a grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund to renovate the Stone Point Royal Observer Corps monitoring post. The underground post has been restored to its original 1960s condition um, where members of the ROC, our Royal Observer Corps, were first stationed there to monitor the effects of nuclear blasts should Britain come under attack during Cold War. So altogether there were over 1,500 similar monitoring posts dotted all around the country, manned by the volunteers. They could have been bricklayers, secretaries, members of the police force, men and women alike like very much anybody and everybody who are local to those monitoring posts. Should an attack have happened, they would have been called and from that point they could have been down there anywhere up to two weeks. The post could hold two staff. There's space for two bunk beds, as well as the tables and chairs and all the recording equipment they would need to monitor should a nuclear blast have occurred. They would have to leave their family, their friends, their jobs, whatever they were doing. And you probably wouldn't have known about it because they did have to sign the Secrecy Act. In 1989, when the Berlin Wall started to come down, that was really the beginning of the end of the Cold War, and it led to the Royal Observer Corps being disbanded in 1991. So the post closed. There's so much heritage to Leap Country Park. The underground monitoring post was really untouched until my predecessors came to Leap and uncovered the monitoring post thanks to the Catalan estate who literally gave us the key to unlock it and explore further. So we were really pleased to get the funding from the Heritage Lottery. The money's gone to various different things across this whole project from the restoration of the monitoring post so that we can access it safely. We've painted and restored the fencing, you know, done a lot of physical work around the grounds but we've also provided events and activities for children and anybody interested in finding out more about the Cold War, about LEAP and the role that the monitoring place played. Um, a large amount of money also went in developing our periscopes so that visitors can have a look down inside to see what the post would have looked like in action in the days when the Royal Observer Corps were stationed in the post. The underground monitoring post is positioned right next to the children's play area on the cliff top of Leap Country Park alongside all the facilities and um, the gates always open so visitors can go in, have a look around and then just keep in touch with what's on our website and our Facebook and social media pages.